Birds of a Feather Video Flock Together, Design and Evaluation of an Agency-Based Parrot-to-Parrot Video Calling System for Interspecies Ethical Enrichment. Over 20 million birds are kept as pets in the United States alone. Despite their high cognitive, social, and emotional needs, they often lack appropriate enrichment, which can lead to aggressive behavior, self-harm, and stereotypies. Some approaches exist for cognitive enrichment, such as toys, food, environmental stimuli, and interactive puzzles. However, very little solutions exist for social and emotional enrichment or to support their species' identity. In addition, parrots have many uncured transmissible diseases, including the avian ganglionuritis, a terminal wasting disease which affects about 43% of the parrot's population, limiting the feasibility of in-person socialization with other birds. However, some parrots already freely use tablets for games and entertainment. Therefore, the question arises, if given the opportunity, would parrot engage in video calls with other parrots? To answer this complex question, we established various steps of measurable assessment. First, can we, as humans, actually provide companion parrots with the opportunity to connect remotely with other birds? This request to assess sense-making from screen stimuli and create a process to ensure calls are deliberate and reflect the animal control and expression. Secondly, would the bird use this agency and how? If given the opportunity, would they trigger calls? What would the calls look like? And what could be the benefits for the bird? This work involved careful consideration in terms of ethics, by assessing benefits versus risks, by training human participants to facilitate the interactions, and through safety protocols. We developed a force-free learning method based on consent where the bird is free to walk or fly away. We developed a three-step corroboration validation method to express intent, which include ringing a bell, selecting a bird to call, and being engaged during calls. We considered extrinsic versus intrinsic motivation, and no reward or treat was given during calls as well as the importance of keeping the human in the loop, the goal being to support enrichment in home context, as opposed to testing bird's intelligence in isolation. Following a two-month pilot study and gathering feedback from parrot professionals on our protocol, we ran a three-month study on 18 bird participants in two stages. The first stage, called meet and greet, aimed to introduce a bird to each other and creating an association between ringing a bell, touching another bird on the screen, and triggering a call. The second stage, called open calls, constituted of making the bell available to the bird for three hours a day over 10 weeks. During that time, they could choose to call other bird. During the meet and greet sessions, the bird learned the association between touching a bell. Touch a bell. Good girl. Touch a bell. Good boy. Touch a bell. I want to hear it. Then touching the photo of another bird on the screen. Can you touch Rosie? Good girl! Want to touch that picture so we can call her? Good job! Touch Georgie? Good job! Touch Leo? Yeah! This session, repeated over two weeks, triggered the meet and greet calls to introduce a bird to each other. Then for over two months, we provided the birds with their bell during open call session, where they could freely request calls. To make a call, they had to corroborate by touching the bell, then the screen to select a bird to call. Do you want to call a friend? Would you like to call a friend? Eleanor, who would you like to call this time? Which friend would you like to call? You want to call Rosie? Okay. These two phases resulted in 112 meet and greet calls, 147 calls freely triggered and corroborated, 
for over a thousand hours of video data. To assess if birds were indeed provided with agency, we assess their ability to make sense of the stimuli on the screen during meet and greet, as this phase pertains more novelty effect likely resulted in more reaction and surprise behavior. This included timely reaction to the other bird appearing on screen. There's your friend Theo. Ready? Do you want to talk to her? Uh, you do? Okay. Uh, there you go. Say hello. Hi, baby. Response to the other bird going off screen. or signs of following the other bird on the screen. Want to say hi? Yeah. Yes, that's Rosie, yes. Where is she? Yes. There she is. Yeah. We concluded that most parrots respond to and appear to make sense of the presence of an other bird on the screen. And parrots reacted differently depending on who was on the call and they had their own preferences. Regarding agency, every bird in phase two triggered calls and participated in the calls. One key finding was a significant correlation between the number of outgoing calls and the number of received calls, suggesting the development of social dynamic measured through individual social scores. The validity of the proposed social scores is further supported by the correlation between high number of calls triggered and strong engagement within calls with longer calls, more interest, and reaction to the other bird. The role of the human in the loop was instrumental for successful and ethical use of the technology. It also aligned with the context of enrichment in the home setting. All caretakers reported perceived benefit for themselves and for their bird. Finally, such type of research require careful monitoring of the animal stress and long-term solution for ethical, sustainable enrichment. We observed a lot of positive social mirroring behaviors, such as preening, singing, Or play behaviors. He's hanging upside down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Caretakers reported perceived benefits both for their birds and for themselves as they learned about their parrot ability and behavior through a new social bonding activity. <laughs> All caretakers reported wanting to continue providing their birds with the ability to call others. This approach illustrates the potential for human-animal-computer interaction as a source of interspecies ethical enrichment.